Hey guys, we are back playing some Popper. We are playing some Beasts, and this is a pretty good hand. We can keep this. Got to turn two Wirewood. Going first two, which is kind of nice. Choose green, pass the turn. Mm-hmm, blue-red. Well, let's run it out, see what happens. Uh, it's probably going to die, but better it eats some removal than uh, some of our beasts here, I guess. Oh, it's Urza. And it's going to survive, which is nice. I say we go with Ornarlid. Hopefully we draw a forest. Always yes, always yield. Haha, <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll just lay it here, get in for two, pass the turn. Next turn we've got Blast Durham or Primal Hunt Beast. Oh, Lightning Bolts. Flame Slash, wow, that's a lot of removal. Goes for the expedition map. I think we're just going to go over the primal hunt beast. And that's going to be hitting for five a turn. They've got their uh, Tron up. Or not. They could have, I guess, but they didn't. That was a little weird. Uh, so I could get in with Rancor here, but I think I'd rather just go with the Blastoderm, but it looks like they're probably holding up some counter magic. I could go Rancor, Garrick's Companion, Cycle Tranquil Ticket. Let's try that. It's really going to negate, okay. We're giving them some targets for their removal, but means they have to use it too. So they've got Tron. What are they going to do with it now? Muldrifter. Okay. Probably going to trade with our companion, I guess. Lens. Oracle. Okay. map. Let me tap out. Let's get in with everything. That's it. Okay. And yeah, I think we're good with that. Hopefully that gets there. Pretty savage. Another wall gets them back. I guess. Lightning bolt. Okay. Prismatic. Or prophetic, sorry. Not going to bolt. No, they could bolt, actually. Gonna get in for two, wow, okay. Wouldn't mind another land here. Ooh, and just for Mask is actually really good. Uh, yeah, they have bolt. 
yeah. <sighs> so we could play it on the Primal Hunt Beast here. Turned into a 5-5. And we can follow it up with a Garrick's Companion as well. I guess that's the play. And then any enchantments that we draw afterwards will just be really good. Ah, oh, there's the tangle. Darn it. That hurts a lot, especially because the Blastoderm loses an attack. Yeah, it looks like they've got us under a lock here, especially if they've got their flicker effect. Gonna bolt out the yeah, companion. Getting back lightning bolt again, wow. Condescend, I guess? No. Yeah, we were just not quite fast enough. That Flame Slash and Lightning Bolt did a lot of work. And another Mole Drifter, darn it. Let's look at two more attacks with the Blastoderm. Oh wait, no, we get one more attack with the Blastoderm. Ugh, and flooded to boot. <sighs> well, we have nothing else to do but attack. He's got a tangle, that's pretty much game. I'm gonna chump here and here. Uh, yeah, I'm smelling the um, ghostly flicker. That smelly smell of ghostly flicker. Teachings. For Ghostly Flicker. Gonna Ghostly Flicker, I guess we'll just have six. Still take some damage, but what did they get back? Oh, they just got back Ghostly Flicker. Okay. We can get in for four. We're on a pretty tight clock here. Bye-bye, Blastoderm. There's a Hunt Beast. Let's get in for some damage. Gonna bolt here. I mean, we could still be in this. I mean, drawing a Rancor would turn our guy into a 9-7 Trample.
Hmm. And Trample would really help with this flickering business, and hopefully he doesn't have any more counter magic, although that would be surprising. Though if he's going to just use it on Primal Hunt Beasts, that's very nice. Oh, Essence Scatter. Bah. And there it is. Now he can, yeah, he can Ghostly Flicker, getting back. Ghostly and Essence Scatter. Okay. I don't mind that. Gonna get in for five. Okay, a lot of lands in a row. It happens. What do we want? Vitality Charm seems pretty good. Uh, Thermo Carts obviously are very good. Uh, Fangren Marauder might not be the worst. Dodges a lot of their removal. I can get some incidental value. But do I want to go that big? I think the Savage is not quite going to cut it here. Pulse seems fine. Could even use some more. Hmm. Well, is it that good, though? Uh-huh. Kind of wondering if maybe, yeah, bringing this 5-5 would be a good plan. I mean, if we can just keep them off their Tron... We can possibly just take over here. Let's submit like that. Hopefully that works out. This could definitely save some of our beasts. Or let them trample over. Oh, we're a little low on creatures, to be honest with you. Bon. <laughs> Could be a little hard to deal with. We'll see. Yes, we will play first. Wow, okay, yeah. No ramp, but uh, we're definitely uh, causing our opponents some problems. Come on, play Tron Land or something. Oh, another mine. Okay, well, just gonna keep on casting. Maybe an essence scatter held up here. Let's go for the org gnarlet. See what happens. Let's 
All right, we've effectively screwed them, <laughs> which is good. Let's see, we got four, five, so, okay, let's just play our Blastoderm. Didn't want to run it into an essence scatter, but now that we've got uh, now we've got them down to two mana and they have to kind of tap out for it. We've got a prism, fixes their mana, there's a plant. They're gonna have a hard time finding their mine. Let's get in for five. And I'm just going to pulse now and pass. Again, I don't want to run it into counter magic if I can help it. Oh, I wonder what that was. Should I just kill the power plant? What can they do with four mana? I guess they can teachings for stuff. I did put it in the graveyard. I guess, no, nah, I'm just going to go for the quick kill. Oh, Seagate, all right. Okay, there's land. Let's get in. Uh, let's... They're, oh no, well, their mana is all fixed up from the Prophetic Prism, so I guess we'll just get the Power Plant. Yeah, alright, well, <laughs> Triple Thermokarst got there. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, that worked out. Pulse was not bad. Though, I mean, just getting back our Orignarl, it <laughs> didn't end up doing all that much. Uh, is there anything else that I would want? I don't think so. I think that was... I, I do like my sideboarding for this. I'm going to have to remember how I did this. That's pretty good. Let's just run it back. Yeah, the sideboard tech got through. Though we're not on the play this time, so things might be a little different. That's a very risky one-lander. No, we're going to have to mulligan. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, now we can keep... We'll put the forest on top. We can go Primal Hunt Beast into Snake Umbra and hopefully have that pan out for us. Oh. Playing some black two in there, okay. I, well, I guess that makes sense for the. Uh... Oh, wild growth is good. Hmm. This is pretty shifty here. Do I risk running into a negate? Core condescend for two. I guess safe place to go with Arbor Elf. 
If he counters it, then we can break up their Tron. They don't go for it. I think I'll just pass then. Next turn we have two, four, six mana. We can go for a um, Thermal Karst. Maybe if we draw a land with Primal Hunt Beast as well. They're going to Flame Slash here. Okay, all right. So what do I want to resolve? Thermokarst or Hunt Beast? Oh no wait, I can't I can't do that anymore. So I guess it's just gonna be Thermokarst. The only thing that gets us is negate. Condescend doesn't do it. We got there. Okay. Hopefully he didn't have multiple copies of it. There's a prismatic lens. <laughs> Triple power plant. Boy, I'm really glad we didn't um, we didn't use the thermal cost earlier because that would have cost us a lot more, I think. Or five. If we primal hunt beast, we can still afford to pay. Oh no, he's got the prismatic lens here, eh? Mmm, that's a problem. I want to pay for condescend, so I guess we'll just hope to that he taps out a little bit more next turn. I always forget this lens makes mana. Maybe I'm being too careful, I don't know. It's just that I'm so low on cards. There's a Gnarlid. Okay, I'll run that out. Yeah. Oh, there's an exclude. Okay. <clears throat> Tapping for another prophetic prism. Three. Okay, that's good. Wait a minute now. Yes. All right. Mold Driftering. And yeah, he's really going to want to block this. No? Always yes, always yield. Okay. Let's cycle this. Savage is not bad. So we don't draw any more lands. That that would be unfortunate. There's a Utopia Sprawl, not the best. He's gonna block. Okay. 
What could he have here? Oh, I guess Flicker will do it. Okay. Draw some three. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Just burn it right away. Okay. Boy, this is a really close game. Opponent's getting up there for mana. You've got to keep blocking this. You know, going to be a really close match. Discarding Muldrifter. All right, Arbor Elf, not quite the draw we want. Let's see if we can get an extra draw. Going to Tangle? Ah, that sucks. Gonna Arbor Elf. It's gonna give me tons of mana. I mean, this is, it's not the worst draw because it basically means that you can't play Condescend. As long as this is in play because I have 12 mana. It's this LD effect, so, okay. What do you look for? Unfortunately, no attack with next turn with this guy. Finding an essence scatter, okay. Getting in for two. Oh no! <laughs> All right, let's get in for one. I'm gonna keep that in my hand. Hopefully, we can bait. Pulse. Oh no! Returning Muldrifter makes sense. He's got so much fixing, like an absurd amount. I don't know if that's normal. I'm gonna keep taking two. There's another Arbor Elf. Well, let's get in for four. Oh man, opponent is Fog City. Not gonna fall for the obvious bait here. Oh no, here's the mnemonic wall. <laughs> we are losing this game so slowly. Here comes the ghostly flicker.
getting in for four. Yikes. This is a real problem. How are we going to get through this? Oh, okay. Well, Oh, what? Oh, we just drew another forest. <laughs> oh, man, that's really annoying. Should I just run out this Blastoderm? No, I think we got to pass. Alchemy? No, Flicker. Getting back. Oh, come on. Ghostly, okay. Okay, he's gonna have Tron next turn if he wants it. Well, we're just dead to Muldrifter beat down. Let's see. Yeah, no, even if he just chump blocks with the with the mnemonic wall, or he could just ghostly flicker mnemonic wall and uh, get back moments piece, and we're just dead. Because then he gets three moments pieces, and that's enough turns for him to attack with his um, flyers. So yeah, we're done. We're just dead. Wow. We're off to a really good start, but he just, we we're just a little bit too slow. He managed to get rid of enough of our things that it worked out. And we're land city over here too. That's crazy. Yep, draw some cards. Get your flicker back. There's the essence scatter. Oh boy. We just got one attack step left. Nothing we can do here, I don't think. I think it's over. See, we might have had a chance, Ugh, but even even then, with all his fogs, like there's no way, there's no way. Yeah, we're just we're just done. Wow, really close game. Here's the Tron, turn fourteen, <laughs> going in for six. Like we need, like we would have needed Rancor and. And uh, ancestral mask, have it all resolve, and have him not have a fog. <laughs> Our guy would have gotten plus two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, that would have been exactsies, but there's no way. Well. GG guys, well played. We will see you guys next time.